This year, Chris Foundation presents a series of concerts titled The Dunkel Rosa Rose. This translates to The Deep Pink Rose. And like the rose, tonight's program will feature musical moments that are as tender as the rose petals, moments as prickly as the thorns, and of course, musical moments that embody the mysticism and romanticism that the rose so famously symbolizes.
and living through the 20th century. While Schubert was born on the cusp of the 19th century, slightly after what is known as the classical period in music history. This is important to note because straddling between two centuries usually denotes change, a change in socio-political environment and aesthetics, where the former could easily influence the latter. And within the realm of aesthetics itself, you have the cultural environment of the composers, and this includes people like poets, writers, artists, and of course, other composers who were their contemporaries. And these are the people who could actually easily inspire and stimulate the composers to pursue a change in compositional direction. And sometimes, you can even hear this in their music, this ambivalence towards such change. Here, why many would have associated this violin sonata with Strauss professing his love for his wife. In addition to the fact that he met his wife the year that he wrote this violin sonata, clearly the music is overflowing with passion and emotion. And he often colors the music with very extravagant and large harmonies, making us, or forcing us rather, to take the scenic detour home. Or in this case, perhaps he's not satisfied with confessing his love to his wife in a very simple manner, not like, hey, I like you, you know, let's get together. It's more of a flowery language, you know, and music in all its poetry.